I have shifted three houses of mine for collecting these action figures. Now my wife is giving me ultimatum, no more than this, you know. Now I don't know because I'll have to, I still, they keep growing, they keep growing. You never stop. The problem with obsession is you never stop with it. Hi, I'm Ricky Saxena and I have an obsession for collecting action figurines. So once I was on a recce for a travel show in Australia and I saw on the Sydney Harbour a huge shop which was called Hollywood Collectibles. I went in and I saw the first action figures I bought, which I'll show it to you, are these two. These are a uh, double whammy of Sylvester Stallone, uh, Rocky and Rambo. A lot of things which I never thought I would do normally, but for this particular obsession, I maintain a thorough database, like Excel sheets, of everybody being properly uh, segregated in terms of the genre, in terms of their themes, in terms of the make. It has everything. So one of the first things I ever started collecting was musicians. Musicians, especially from the 90s, 80s, rock, hip-hop genre, which were very rare that time to get. And this is my complete musician's collection. You'll see, you'll see ACDC, you'll see Kurt Cobain from Nirvana, Slash, Lenny from Motorhead, Jimmy Page, Def Leppard, Ozzy, White Zombie, Megadeth, you just name it and everything's gonna be here. This is Lenny from Motorhead who's showing a middle finger. This I picked up from a radio station. There was a rock and roll radio, small independent station. This you won't find anywhere in the world. This is made of completely wax. The entire journey from Russia till India till Dubai, I had to hold it in my hand and get it. It was a pain to pass it through customs with the middle finger on, you know, to tell them this is a piece of art. Another one of my favorites is a very cool piece of my man here, Snoop Dogg who is obviously smoking something healthy. I really like this figure. It, it is a little um, caricature-ish, but it's super cool. One of my prized possession in my collection is this jewel. This is from The Silence of the Lambs, Sir Anthony Hopkins. I had to roam around in the streets of Moscow with my wife and my shopping bags for two and a half hours to look for this particular wholesaler who was tucked away in a small corner on some fourth floor of a building which had no labeling or no numbering on it. The strangest part was they didn't even know the actor, they just knew it's from Silas on the Lambs. The lot of stuff I collect is also the stuff I really like in real life. That is the pop culture I believe in. That is the life I live. So one of my favorite, favorite series, television series ever is Game of Thrones, like many others. So this is a special Game of Thrones collection, which has everybody from the throne itself to uh, Ned Stark, to Jon Snow, to Khaleesi, to Tyrion Lannister, to Cersei, everybody there. I think 90% collectors in the world, not just in India, around the globe collect DC and the Marvel Universe. Add a little Star Wars to it, probably you got 99% collectors there. The uniqueness of my collection is that I don't have DC Marvel collection. Out of these 2000 plus pieces, they are of real people, they are of movie characters, thinkers, writers, footballers, politicians, you know, stuff like that. One of, one of my favorite pieces here, which I like to show you, is very strange that he's next to uh, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates and Pope is this one. This is the original gangster, the OG guy, Al Capone. There are very few pieces again made of these and I got it from a bobblehead museum. I have a trade secret as I like to call it, you know. And the trade secret is I collect links to the action figures I really want. I attach them to the names of my friends and I start sending them. They've been told like Sunday is a great weekend time to gift your friend and anybody who doesn't gift gets a red mark on it then I might not talk to them. I might not be there for them, you know, in the future. So I don't like to give people, but I really like to 
get myself gifted in my entire action figure collection there is only one piece which is custom made only one special one which i'll show it to you and this is probably the biggest superstar i have with me also this is a version and avatar of me called Ricky Naldo because I used to play with Ronaldo and Bebeto and Romario and it used to rhyme when we used to score. This was gifted to me a decade back by my wife as a wedding present. This is probably the only cool present she's given me. But this is the only customized action figure I have. It's Ricky Naldo for Brazil. I will play for India also given a chance. So now this is my special 73 piece Tintin collection, which has the tanks, the automobiles, the planes, the helicopters, the characters which were originally used in all their comic strips. It's very cool and exactly the same characters. So sometimes it's, it's, it's very strange to see the character in the comic strip and then to compare it with an action figure. Tintin has a very big nostalgia value attached with me because uh, uh, when we were kids, Asterix and Tintin was something that we used to really crave for and whenever our parents used to go abroad or somebody used to go abroad, we used to get a lot of those. I have never ever sold, traded or even gifted one of my action figures to somebody. I have never collected or never bought anything so that I can trade them or I'll have a greater value later on. That's why you'll see all my collection is open. Otherwise, I would have kept them in a mint condition, which is like inside the box. Because the moment you take it out of the box, the value in any case decreases. It becomes secondhand. I collect a lot of real people, historical people. And I have a collection called the Monsters of History, which includes a lot of warlords, a lot of people who did genocides and stuff like that. So my next piece, which I've been looking for a few years, which is not available anywhere, is a, um, a full length action figure of Adolf Hitler. The moment I'm able to get my hand on it, that is definitely coming in my collection. Tell us about this photo. There are two photos in it. Oh. <laughs> this, is, this is one of the rare photos which I've taken in complete darkness. This is a special piece of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But these ones are the only probably black and white Ninja Turtles which are available. So it's quite a rare piece and that's why it made it to my Instagram. So now this Hitman I posted because this is a very cool piece of the video game. The movie was also made and that's why it made it to my Instagram account. Yeah. 